What's up, Hawks? Hey, quick video here about how to format, add format on YouTube comments. I know you guys see a lot of bold italics and strike throughs. And if you want to know how, this is how they do it. Um, did you know you can format comments on YouTube in the same way you can for Microsoft Office documents? Read on to find out how to make your YouTube comments stand out with just a few extra symbols. The three YouTube comment effects. YouTube now allows users to post comments with three different types of text. You've seen these right here. Bold, italic, strike through. People can get very creative in the YouTube comment section and these YouTube comments effects can help you get your point across effectively. It's precise. It's precisely why we bold and italicize in Word and Excel documents. You bold a word or phrase to make it stand out on a page. You italicize words to emphasize an important word. You use strike through to revise something with the intention of leaving the initial wording there. People also use this when they want to make a sarcastic joke, as I'm sure all you've seen. Example, mom, do you have any homework to do? Mom, do you have any homework to do? Son, I actually have a big project due next week, but I think I'm going to wait until the last minute like I do for most of my assignments. I did that my whole life and my whole school career. I was a last minute, but uh, a plus student, so I hated it. The stress was horrible doing it at the last moment. I don't suggest it, kids. How to add special format into YouTube comments. When you type a comment in, if you put certain symbols around a piece of text, you can add special effects to them. Here's the special code you need to add around the words. To bold a word, I, and I use this a lot like when I'm commenting to, to get my point across. You put asterisks around it. So if your word is the New World Order, you'll put an asterisk and an asterisk. That'll make it bold. For italic, you use underscores. For strike throughs, you put hyphens directly next to the word, front and back. Your sentences will appear like this once you insert these special symbols. To bold a word, put asterisks around it. For italics, use underscores. For strike throughs, put hyphens or dashes around the text. Here's a video from YouTube Help that explains all this in video format. I don't need to do that. This is just a quick video on how to do that because I was just kind of looking it up. I knew how to do bold, but I was wondering how uh, other people had done the strike throughs and italics. But uh, born a Hawkeye, and I'm currently researching something that's going to blow your guys' mind. So stay tuned. I love y'all. Keep your eyes out there, Hawks. Hawkeyes out.